Welcome back, folks, to Let's Replay Deus Ex. So when last we left off, we're exploring Yonako HQ before we report to Mandalay for our debriefing. I imagine he's going to be quite happy with us while being very unhappy in general, because our part of the operation was the only bit that went well. Something went really wrong with the assault on the NSF warehouse led by Paul, though nobody is telling us exactly what happened only that it was a disaster. Is Paul alive? Has he been captured? Is he dead? We don't know. But hopefully we'll get the answer soon. I hope Paul's alright. In the meantime, we'll explore the medical lab because there are things we want to do here, like open this up and get some goodies. There are medkits in here, two of them to be exact, and we can always do with more healing. We're definitely going to be using it as the game goes on, because we won't always have ready access to a medbot. Next, we're going to hack Jaime's computer and read the emails that are there. We do know his password, this is faster. While repairing one of our mech augmented agents, I located a mechanism within the autonomic regulation system that was not present in any of the documentation I had available. I'm concerned that failure of this mechanism could lead to a complete autonomic shutdown of the agent's vital systems, with the obvious consequences that would entail. And Jaime is being told, this is above your clearance. Do not talk of this in an unauthorized manner. That is a worrying development if it's true. Why would such a thing need to be in a mechanically augmented agent? That could kill them! We could try and talk to Jaime about this, but he has been warned that he'll get into trouble if he does, so it's unlikely that he'll be forthcoming with information. And the medbot being here is very handy, because we need to use it. First, to heal. <coughs> and then to pick which of the leg augmentations that we're going to be using for the rest of the game. There is only one leg augmentation slot, so choose wisely. The first choice is speed enhancement. Ionic polymeric gel myofibrils are woven into the leg muscles, increasing the speed <coughs> at which an agent can run and climb, the height they can jump, and reducing the damage they receive from falls. The more this is upgraded, the better it becomes, until Tech 4. An agent can run like the wind and leap from the tallest building. This consumes 40 units per minute, the exact same amount of bioelectric energy as the alternative. Run silent. The necessary muscle movements for complete silence when walking or running are determined continuously with reactive kinematics equations produced by embedded nanocomputers. When this is fully upgraded, an agent is completely silent when it's active. This is really good for sneaking past enemies and getting behind them to deal with them subtly. This one, however, is far more universally useful. The ability to mitigate fall damage, the ability to jump to places you otherwise wouldn't be able to get to, and the ability to close the distance really quickly or run away really quickly is just too useful for me. So I usually take speed enhancement, and then I usually upgrade it as well. Now one thing to note about the augmentation upgrade canisters is that it says that you can do this in the field and that you don't need a medbot. What that means is you actually can't use a medbot interface to install these augmentation upgrade canisters. You have to do it from here. We'll upgrade this, which means that speed and jumping are increased moderately, while falling damage is further reduced. Which is great. With that done, let's talk to the doctor. Looks pretty bad down here. Keeps getting worse, too. It must be raining bullets out there. The NSF aren't kidding around. How you holding up? Fine. I lost one of the privates because a refrigeration unit went down. That's always hard. You've got a lot in your hands. Don't beat yourself up over faulty equipment. You're doing the best you can, I'm sure. By the way, we aren't in such shambles that we can't spare a few med kits. Check the storage closet. Oh, don't worry. I'm one step ahead of you there. You certainly made an impression on the troops tonight. A good impression, I hope? Looks like it's going to be a late night for both of us. Oh, that it is. Our night's only just begun. You might talk to my friend. He's a little down. Is there something wrong? 
Has he spoken to Ben? Ben's great at cheering people up. Trust me, I know. But if you want me to talk to him, Hell I'll give it a shift. try. That it has been. And there's still more to go. I took a few hits tonight. The doc had to operate. We'll get well soon, soldier. Yes, sir. I will. I hope you have a speedy recovery. Dr. Reyes said they took the bullet out, but I still feel it in my stomach. That's unsettling. It's like a piece of ice. Very unsettling. He also said I lost my spleen. Oh no, your spleen! Uh, wait, do you need your spleen? Does he need his spleen? I'm sure you'll be fine. Get well soon. Hell of a long shift. Thanks for talking to my friend. He admires you. No problem. Glad to help. I knew what I was getting into when I joined up. We all did. Better I take a bullet than an innocent civilian. There's only two more things that I want to do before we go to that debriefing. The first thing is check down here and see if anything's changed, and the answer is no. Fair enough. Let us go back upstairs and go and check out our computer, because we haven't actually read our emails yet. Probably a good idea to do so before we go and talk to Mandalay. Those from Washington think they own the place. Do they? Is that who Mandalay's talking to? Someone from Washington? Let's go up and find out. And of course, check in on Ben. We'll close these as well. Might as well be nice and orderly with how we leave the place. Hello, Ben. How are you doing? Busy at work? I know you are. Just, uh, watch the door while I check my emails. Now, I know our password. I believe it's JCD password Bionic Man. There we go. There's one from Jaime. Congrats. Congrats on surviving your first mission, Kikoskia. I know it's all part of the job, but I'm glad to see you back in one piece. More or less, anyways. If you get this message before I get a chance to see you in person, then get your ass down here so I can patch you up. By the way, I hear a few things from up top, and I get the impression that they were definitely taking advantage of this NSF attack to evaluate your performance. So far, everyone seems to be ecstatic. Well, everyone except for Gunther, but he's got his own problems. Keep it up, but keep an eye out too. I get the impression sometimes that everyone here has their own agenda. Curious. And we have an email from Paul. Watch your back. I don't have much time, so I'm going to have to cut this short. They're going to tell you a lot of things about what went on today, and it's probably all going to get pinned on me. I've got my reasons, but I can't go into them right now. Not over the net. But you've got to trust me that there are reasons. Maybe I can point you in the right direction. Tap a few computers and see what you come up with. Try Mandalay's computer if you can risk it. The password is Nightkiller. You might also check Navara's, but I don't have her password. Cold Woman. Be careful around her. And for that matter, everyone else. Paul. Something's up here. If we go by what Paul and uh, Jaime are saying, there's something not right. Let's go, Ben. We'll get to the bottom of this. Time to go for our debriefing. You stay there. Watch the glass. Maybe you can listen in. I was here first. Mr. Mandley is in a meeting, JC. You'll have to wait. I was told to report for a debriefing. A debriefing. Do not worry. I will state in my report that I was satisfied with your performance. Oh, don't worry, Anna. I know that my performance was exemplary. Be quiet. I am trying to listen. Ben's listening too. I'm sure he'll tell you anything that you missed. A bureaucrat from Washington. See if he asks for any of our opinions. He may do. He may not. Wait in line. I will. Don't worry. You'll have to wait a minute. Mr. Mandley is busy. Fair enough. You don't mind if I What's hack into your idea, computer? JC? I think you do mind, but it doesn't matter. I'm going to do it anyway and see if you have any emails. The answer is no. There's nothing more that we can do except go to this door and listen in. Come on, Ben. Let's see what we can glean. Just fire the arrogant son of a bitch. I wasn't exaggerating. He's our best agent. We don't need him. We've got his brother and more are on the way. He knows nothing. I think he does. You should never have sent him to Hong Kong. Let's be sensible. We have to look at the whole record. 
Look, I understand. He was your pet project, but it's out of my hands. Now that the shipment's been lost... I know, I know. I will comply with the order. That's all I ask. Carry on. I'm going downstairs to interrogate the prisoners. We've heard that voice before. From the introduction. Hello. Carry on, Agent. We will. I just want to say hello. Agent Denton, at your service. Denton. Yes, I hear you're turning out to be quite an asset to the Coalition. Doing my best, sir. Forgive me, but I do not believe I know your name. We aren't ready for an introduction yet. No, it's not time. Just keep your nose to the pavement. You'll be well rewarded. Trust me. Oh, will I? You don't mind if I follow you, do you? You aren't needed, Agent. I may not be, but I just want to, you know, give you the guided tour. Commander Lee will give you your orders. That he will, but I'm curious about where you're going. I must attend to a sensitive matter. Sensitive, eh? You're going to where the prisoners are, aren't you? I know where I'm that is. I'm to you to set an example. I will, don't worry. I'll set the best example. I'll show you where that place is. It's, uh, just out I here. I what I say about mechs around Anna Navarra. I know you've already said that to me. We'll go down here, and, uh, I'll watch you, uh, interrogate the prisoners. I'm sure you don't mind me watching. You see that, Ben? We're going to see how he interrogates people. These two NSF people here. It won't take him long to get here, I'm sure. He was walking at quite a brisk pace. I'm sure you know what I'm actually going to be doing here, because very briefly, this door will open while that gentleman goes inside. And when it does, we're going to go in. We were told not to interfere with this event by the people that we saw before we came into Yanatko. We're going to interfere. I have an important matter to attend to. That you do! And we're going to help, aren't we, Ben? I can sum it all up in one word. Self-reliance. That's what we stand for. How about you tell me where that shipment is being taken? Yunatko assumes that people are incapable of protecting themselves, and therefore should submit to surveillance and intimidation by an outside force. We won't do it. I have one question. They already asked. I don't know. One must admire a man who can keep a secret, because he has value. What you know more than others makes money, and gives you a measure of power. You Walton Simons, you think I could be bribed? Margaret Forsyth, under NSF protection in Queens. Your son Richard, attending Bronx Science. You see, I have a few relevant facts myself. Care to make a trade? You wouldn't dare. I'll give you two seconds to decide. Get out of here, Denton. This is none of your business. So you're Walton Simons? The governments of the world believe an average citizen should not face the threat of terrorism alone. We don't need your help. The technology exists today for an individual to protect his property against explosives, firearms, surveillance, intrusion, contamination. Get the hell out of here, Denton. 350 million fortresses is not my idea of the land of the free. It's better than one big fortress constructed by a corrupt government against its people. Time's up. Where is the NSF taking the Ambrosia? They asked me already. I don't know. Need I remind you that in the case of a national emergency, FEMA has a list of six million Americans who will be transported to detention centers? Your tabloids call it RX-84. Yeah, including the President, Congress, and the Supreme Court. In my position, I find it very easy to add names to that list. Go to hell. He's a very sinister character. It's simple numbers. Big companies pay like 2% tax. Well, you and me, we pay like 50. It's the tax code that makes sure big bureaucracy gets bigger and people have no power. You have an assignment in New York, Agent. I expect you to follow orders. Let's get back to the subject of the missing vaccine. All taxes are social engineering. That's always been their real purpose. I'm not going to stand here and listen to you badmouth the greatest democracy the world has ever known. What happens is that politicians get money from big companies, so all the social engineering is for making big companies. Like I said, it's simple numbers. We've heard that the United States before. government has had emergency powers since World War II. We've never left a state of war. 
Speak for yourself. The federal government is just responding to a threat. A government should be about more than self-perpetuation. You will confess, by the way. I don't like to dirty my hands with that sort of thing, but you will confess. A government shouldn't have to occupy its own country with troops. Certain intellectual properties, aside from the quantities of vaccine, concern me deeply. Has the NSF made any attempt at reverse engineering? Leave me alone. If there wasn't organized oppression, there wouldn't be organized resistance, and what you call terrorism would not exist. You make a if notes, you ben? wanted to save people, you could have unloaded the whole shipment in Manhattan. Or the airlift. You said it yourself. Secrets are power. You can lock me up, but you can't lock up the truth. Please say you're taking notes, Ben. We have less civilized ways of making you talk. A government shouldn't have to occupy its own country with troops. This is tense. I am a patient man. Ask me if I care. But not that patient. A government shouldn't have to occupy oh. its own country with troops. You saw nothing, Denton. Report to Manderley. I think the interrogation is over. Your turn. See what you can find out in Manhattan. I'll try! The real plague, eating at the minds of the American people, is secessionism, regionalism, this new arrogance and sense of entitlement. Do you have augmentations like we do? Once the bug bites, you've already lost the patient. Do you have even a passing interest in doing your job? I certainly do! Isn't that right, Ben? Definitely. Quit screwing around. I'm not! I'm just... I suppose we should go. Leave, damn it. Okay, okay! We're going! Do you have even a passing interest in doing your job? I'm going! He's very rude, isn't he, Ben? I don't think you're supposed to be down here, Agent. Why not? I won't say anything, but I think you should go. I probably should. We do have a debriefing to get to, after all. And while we're here, I just want to double-check this computer. Either this one or the other one. Want to uh, have a look here. Mission objectives. However, our best intelligence indicates that Juan Lebedev is behind the galling attack. Fair enough. He is a dangerous man, and if the operation should result in his termination rather than capture, there is no doubt that the agent responsible would be found to have acted appropriately and with the full force of the law. We skimmed over that email before, but considering what we've read about, um, what Paul said about Yanako and, uh, of ours in the park in Hell's and what, uh, Jaime says much. about Yanako, that email is shining in a different light now. Let's go and, uh, say hello to, uh, Mandalay. You stay there, Ben. This is going to be important. Hello, JC. Come in. Clerical task first. Your op bonus is split between the Castle Clinton and Warehouse objectives, 500 each. You get the full 1,000 plus 200 for how you handle the hostage situation in the Battery Park subway station. Good work across the board. Thank you, sir. Who is that you were meeting with? Politics, bureaucracy, mismanagement. JC, I've got some bad news. The mission failed. I would have taken out that JoJo punk, but he wasn't even in the warehouse. Never mind that. He slipped out before you even got to New York. What about the shipment? I'm just going to say it straight, JC. Your brother screwed up. We got nothing, and he's taking the heat this time. The Coalition is letting him go. What went wrong? We don't know. He hasn't reported back. The rest of the strike force says he lost his nerve. I think he was trying to avoid casualties. In Hell's Kitchen, instead of clips for the troops, he was issuing tear gas. Whatever the case, now it's your turn. We've got one more chance to retake that shipment. Has it been located? Take the chopper back to the city. We know they plan to put the Ambrosia on a plane, but we don't know which airfield. Where should I start? If I were the NSF, I'd be moving it through the subways, the abandoned parts of the infrastructure. I'll check out the subways. I don't even want to know what happened in the bar. We'll take the heat off you this time. Yes, sir. I can explain. But that will never happen again. 
Never kill a civilian unless you're ordered to do so. Yes, sir. All right, now get moving. I have been waiting for 20 minutes. Sorry, Anna. What is it? A new assignment. I think Agent Denton should handle the assassination. Is there a problem? You lost your appetite? His enthusiasm in Battery Park was exceptional. The courtyard of Castle Clinton was a graveyard. Hmm. This kind of an exercise, you mean? I think he will make a good assassin. We should give him the opportunity. Hmm. We a pilot jock is waiting for you at the helipad. I am anxious to see one of the experimental agents perform. You aren't alone, Anna. We appear to have made a good impression. You have your orders from Mr. Manderley. That we do. If you see your brother, send him my way. He didn't report back. Manderley is worried about Paul. With good justification. Also, we'll take all of these keys. And read your emails. Don't forget to check in with Carter and Reyes. I've already done that, don't worry. That's enough, Agent. Don't mind me, I'm just hacking your personal account to see what's going on. A report from Anna about Agent Denton. It is my opinion that nano augmentation in no way compensates for experience, and Agent Denton quite obviously has a considerable amount of learning to do. Fair enough. Arrival. W.S. Walton Simons. Continue to profile the secondary response to authority and mission objectives. If there's deviation... You have your orders. Isolate the subject and wait for my arrival. Anything good in here? No, nothing. We're done with everything that we can do here for now. So let's leave. Let's head upstairs. Oh, and uh, not forget Ben, of course. I know you want to have a meeting with Mandalay. Let me get back to work. We should let him get back to work, Ben. You have work of your own to do, after all. Let's just, uh... You there. A little bit closer. Marvelous. And we'll make doubly sure this time that nobody interrupts you. We'll put two signs down. No one will interrupt you if there are two. There's one. And... Who? Marvelous. So, the mission did not go well. Nobody knows where Paul is. And we need to go and try one last time to recover the Ambrosia. Let's hope that we can. And let's hope we can find Paul. Hope this one turns out a little better. I hope so too. Let's go. And when we come back, folks, we will head out once again in search of the Ambrosia. Let's hope that this time we're successful. It seems like a lot hangs on us being successful. And so, I'll catch you next time, folks, and I'll see you then. Later.